Every woman, every pregnancy, every baby, and every family is different. Therefore, quality services, by which we mean safe, clinically effective, and providing a good experience, must be personalised. Better Births 2016. Central to Better Births is the principle that maternity care should be personalised and safe. Care should be centred on the woman or birthing person, their baby and family, based around their needs and decisions where there has been genuine choice informed by unbiased information. This is essential to ensuring that they receive the best care possible. Humber Coast and Vale Local Maternity System have produced a patient-held personal care plan that is based on best practice guidance from the RCOG, RCM, NMC, NICE, the Personalised Care Institute and NHSEI. It has been co-produced with the Maternity Voices Partnership. The personal care plan and a short animated video for patients is available on the LMS website personal care plan page. NHS Personalised Care and Support Guidance, March 2021, states Training for Clinicians All health professionals should have access to training in personalised care, informed decision-making, risk communication and in choice conversations. Ensure quality and diversity. LMSs should ensure PCPs are available to everyone. The clinician should have the right skills and right training to undertake this discussion including trauma-informed care and unconscious bias training. The plan is divided into five sections to be discussed at different stages of pregnancy and postnatally. Health and well-being at the beginning or any time during pregnancy. Personalised birth preferences, often around 32 to 34 weeks but can be any time. Dads, partners and co-parents, often around 32 to 34 weeks but can be any time. After your baby is born, complete from 34 weeks of pregnancy onwards. Birth afterthoughts, complete after the birth. How to use this booklet. As a health professional, you can support families in a series of facilitated conversations in which management of their health and well-being is discussed and documented. The personal care plan is a tool to help document these conversations. This should be an ongoing dialogue that empowers them to make well-informed decisions. The booklet is designed to be completed by families as they progress through their journey, supported by you. The personal care plan should be revisited at each contact. Decisions can change and the plan can be adapted as pregnancy progresses. What does personalised care look like? When discussing care, we need to apply the GMC principles of decision making and consent. All patients have the right to be involved in decisions about their treatment and care and be supported to make informed decisions if they are able. Decision making is an ongoing process focused on meaningful dialogue specific to them. All patients have the right to be listened to and given the time and information they need to support the decision making. Health professionals must try and find out what matters to patients so they can share relevant information about the benefits and harms of the proposed options and reasonable alternatives, including the option to take no action. Shared decision making. Shared decision making in the NHS is a collaborative process and is the philosophy that underpins personalised care and support planning. It is a conversation that brings together the clinician's expertise, such as treatment options, evidence, risks and benefits, and what the patient knows best, their preferences, personal circumstances, goals, values and beliefs. Informed decision-making means people are supported to understand the care, management and support options available and the risks, benefits and consequences of those options and to make a decision about a preferred course of action based on evidence-based, good quality, timely information and their personal preferences. 
It is a process in which clinicians and individuals work together to select tests, management or interventions based on evidence and the individual's informed preferences. This is most effective where there is a continuity of carer. The woman or birthing person can change their decision at any point in the pathway and contingency plans should be agreed in case of changing circumstances. Evidence-based information is needed in advance of decision-making so that they are well prepared. For example, women will need information about possible interventions in labour and prior to birth. Creating the right tone and dialogue. Using language that is positive is so important. Below are examples of both positive and negative sentences. Positives. Let's discuss the options. Tell me what matters to you. We have strong evidence for, but weaker evidence for. You're in control. Is there anything you feel unsure about? Is there anything you want to ask? Negatives. If it hasn't happened by this date, then we will do... If you don't do as I say, then your baby may die. No, we don't allow that here. The multidisciplinary team has decided that... The consultant needs to decide. Points to remember. Use the word chance, not risk, when discussing screening options. Use natural frequency. For example, 10 out of 100 rather than 10%. Include positive and negative framing. For example, it has been successful for 97 out of 100 patients, but unsuccessful for three. Remember, some patients cannot read or write or may not understand English very well. Pictorial guides can be useful in this instance. Consider safeguarding implications in all decision making. Sometimes facilities are not available at your own trust, but decisions can be discussed for transfer or sharing of care. For example, a request for birth in a freestanding birthing unit. Sometimes patients may be referred to a regional maternal medicine centre for support and possibly birth when specialist input is required. Poorer outcomes are more likely to be experienced by women from black, Asian and minority ethnic backgrounds and women from deprived areas. Therefore, personalising care and having meaningful discussions can support improved outcomes and patient satisfaction in maternity services. External agencies are hugely beneficial in personalising care and expertise can be sought from agencies, voluntary and statutory groups, for example, Positive About Down Syndrome, Surrogacy UK and many more.